side. But to put it in the reverse, are you recording? Yeah. Go for another boot after too, I'll cut the video. You literally you literally push down on here, and this is where your parking brake is. Nice. You push down, close, and then that puts it in your reverse. Oh okay. Right? You can only start it start it in neutral. Okay, I'll take another spin. the quad on the truck. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, we should actually be really, really good. Oh. Yeah. All right, we'll get back to you once it's fully loaded and we got it All right, so we got the quad loaded up. It's uh, pretty tight to the window there, but should be fine. There's about, we're looking about an inch, maybe, yeah, about an inch. And uh, squeezed her in there, let a little bit of air out of the tire so we could get the, the back tailgate up. And uh, got the ramps, and uh, she's good to go. So I think uh, it'll be, uh, it's about a four hour drive back to, back to Winnipeg. I'm gonna, stop off at the house there that's about an hour and a bit and uh, I gotta just check my mail there and stuff like that but won't be doing that right now we're just getting prepped for a barbecue so I got the barbecue here and 
you know, cooking some chicken sabaki on there. So right now we've got uh, we're doing skewers, and then we got uh, we also have some uh, some asparagus. Some of the projects that we're working on is, is the uh, boat trailer and another boat and that black boat back there. So I've got to transfer for that today, a new one. And up, it's a, a 65 it. horse Merc. And it's got a brand new bottom end. And uh, so we'll be bringing that into the shop there just to get a tune up. I gotta get a do some little tune up on the uh, on the quad there because it's in uh, it's been uh, the gear is being put up high because uh, it had the plow on it for winter so when you start it and you put in gear it wants to hop and when you put it in reverse it wants to hop and wants to go so you just gotta tame it down a bit but that's uh that's about it it's locking up the shed there and my little brother and uh, get these projects on the go, done day one, and be on to the next next uh, time we'll paint it all up and everything, and get it done. And that's it. So now it's barbecue time. Probably sit down, watch a hockey game if it's on, and uh, probably have a beer and eat our dinner. Thanks for watching. Give you one more walk around. This is a 300 Honda. Y'all have a great day and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give your likes. Sneak yeah. peek on the food. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Just a little sneak peek for you. I'll get you a better sneak peek when the other food comes. Okay, I'm Cover on. my back. Check out the barbecue here. Try not to get caught. Right, let's see what we got in here. Check it out. Can't see a line now. Guys, I gotta go. Alright, I'm out of here. Alright, yeah, going on here too. Check that out. There's potatoes and garlic in it and everything. And some sneak peeks here. Here we go, boys. Some ladies. Got some food going on here. Check it out. Potatoes are coming too. Anyways, gotta go, gotta fly, gotta eat. We do some calibrations and calibrations and vibrations and stuff like that. You know, calibrations. We decided to take the winch plate off because it was about an inch from the window and I didn't want to pop my window, so. Just a little short update there. And uh, my brother informed me there's no gas left in there. It's on reserve, so I'm gonna have to put some gas in it. But other than that, it's all good. We're just gonna get on the way and head out. We're both headed back to Winnipeg. I'm just uh, gonna stop off and ride him out in there and check the house and stuff, and then I'll head on down to Winnipeg after that. So, and uh, first gas station I hit, I'll fill up the truck and the quad. So, anyways, that's a quick update for you. Have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Yeah.